a safe haven for uh, insurgents and terrorists. The goal of the operation was to retake the city. It was the night we got the green light, the okay to go into Gaza. After nine years of attack on Shterot by the Hamas, it was a mission for me to protect the Israeli uh, civilians, to protect my own family, my own friends. We were supposed to clear strip of houses, walk inside that house, identify the terrorists, identify the civilians, hit the terrorists, and leave the civilians un unharmed. We would drive down the streets, clear any obstacles that are in the way, engaging the enemy that we see along the way. We tell the civilians, stay in your home. Immediately as we walked in, we encountered some roadside bombs, and fire, and mortars on us. We were literally attacked from you know, the first couple of minutes we went into the city. I heard a burst of fire behind me. It was an hour fire. I looked back and I saw my sergeant lying on the floor. And just as I'm, I'm reaching to him, suddenly uh, I'm on the ground, I'm lying on the floor and I'm looking at the sky. Our vehicle was hit about 10 to 15 times with different explosive devices. It immediately took off my left arm, it actually cut right across my chest plate. I got shot in the hand by a very big round. It was straight in my elbow and it completely crushed my entire arm. We were in the company commander's Bradley fighting vehicle, armored with Israeli uh, reactive armor tiles, which helped protect us. I owe my life to the Israeli reactive armor tiles. I went under a surgery of nine hours to completely reconstruct my arm. You don't know how many people have said to me, I don't know how I would be able to deal with that. I would never be able to live with losing an arm. Yes, you would. You don't know how you're going to react to something until you're put in that situation. That bullet has changed not just the way I look at life, but actually the way I'm living life. It's a pretty good life, you know. What inspirational scene unfolding in Israel today? Ten of our wounded warriors taking part in an 11-day bike tour of the country. And their escorts are wounded Israeli soldiers. This is something to see. Uh, it's quite a story. The first encounter with the American soldier was very, very easy. Riding alongside each other, we just start talking, and it's amazing um, how similar as people we really are. To meet other soldiers that are not from Israel, but they're fighting for the same cause as Israel. We share the common bond uh, of fighting against evil people that want to kill us. I definitely saw a huge passion and a huge love and a very strong will to protect the U.S. as we have in Israel. The IDF soldiers had the same pride of defending their nation as we did. It's kind of a badge of honor and courage. You know, I didn't lose this honor in a motorcycle accident. I lost it defending us. In my eyes, it could be the biggest uh, contribution I can give back to Israel and to the Israel people. Even if the outcome would have been worse for me, I would have not have changed anything, nothing. I don't feel sorry for myself um, because it's, it's an honor, honestly, to have been wounded serving my country.